Do you ever dream of having a lawn like a baseball diamond? So here I am, Bush Stadium. Uh, the Cards are just about to play the opposing team here, well, the Braves, and they're right in the midst of their BP. But what I thought we would talk about rather than the game is this gorgeous turf, the playing surface. Just look at this. It's manicured to the nth degree. What's gorgeous about it is that it's all so uniform. I think we all love a lawn that looks just like this. So how can you achieve it at home? Well, it's not that difficult, but it does require some work. For instance, this lawn is all one kind of grass. So it is Kentucky fescue, but there are three or four different varieties of Kentucky bluegrass blended into this mix. So they have this beautiful lush carpet to play on. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that this grass in the summer can really suffer from heat and humidity. No matter what kind of grass you have in the summer, you want that grass blade to grow a little longer in the summer than it does in the winter because just a little bit more length on the blade actually shades the roots and will get that grass through the hottest part of the day. The other thing you want to do, and this is what they do here, is they water this lawn very early in the morning. I'm talking like 4.30 to 5.30. You don't want to come in from work and water your lawn and let it sit in moisture all night long because that creates the perfect environment for fungus. Now, another thing you need to keep in mind, which is related to moisture, is drainage. You want to make sure that, the, that your lawn drains really well. I mean, this turf is actually on a blend of peat moss and other amendments, but the largest element underneath this grass is actually sand, so it drains really well. So it Again, we're not having patches that are sitting in too much water, the roots aren't sitting in water, and they're not becoming vulnerable to fungi. Let's talk about mowing for just a moment. Look at these gorgeous stripes. Well, it's no real special mower they have here, they just have a roller that follows the mower. So if you look across the playing field here, you see the dark and the light stripes. Well, the dark stripes are actually looking into the blades and the lighter stripes, the blades were rolled down that direction. And when they mow it, this roller comes in behind them to give that effect. You also wanna make sure that you get the thatch, that debris that falls in between the blades of the grass out at least once a year, and it gives those roots an opportunity to breathe. So hey, if you're crazy about your lawn and you want it to look like this, hope these tips will be helpful to you. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. Go get them.